Hi, this is introduction to the IV plum setting and priming the primary line. It's the same as a secondary setting, just the difference between those primary and secondary button that we have there. We're priming the chamber after we spike the bag. And now we have like a half chamber full that that's what we want to see if it's actually dripping down. Opening this small white port point toward us so we can open the fluid and filling fluids upside down first. We want to first fill the chamber that look like a Minnesota. And then with the first drips inside of the circle, we flip the cassette upside down again. This is the filling the second part of the cassette. This is a circle that you see is filled and when the fluid goes through that, that the cassette is primed and we are continuously priming the rest of the tubings. Now this is the place where our cassette will go in and it's a good idea to look inside and see how it's uh, set up and where we actually are putting our cassette because it needs to be gently. We don't want to break our pumps. So we are fighting the slot and we are putting it inside so that everything fits how it's supposed to be. It's a really smooth process. There is no any need for pushing in or doing anything inappropriate. Now we're closing the latch and pretty much the cassette is in and we can continue with our setting. This is the primary IV pump with the primary line and that blue top that you see it's a top to attach the secondary line. Now we are setting up our pump. Uh, this is the rate. We can use arrow or a quick setting button if we want to change it fast. With the arrow it goes a little bit slower depending what kind of personality you are and if you have time enough to stay there. If you continuously keep the finger on these arrows the numbers will go smoothly. If you're taking the finger off it will go number by number from 2 to 3 to 4. Volume to be infused means volume to be infused. VTBI. So we are putting our uh, setting to the volume to be infused and again we can use the arrow or the quick set to change the numbers for how many f milliliters because this pump works in milliliters how many milliliters is in our bag is in our odor that we need to give to the patient so that's what we are setting right now and we will put a thousand for our primary uh, infusion this is how it would look if it's on a run but we forgot to clear the volume. Before we start any new IVs, we should clear the volume. So we are turning the cassette on the a, on a, on a right side and as you can see now the total volume delivered is zero. It's mean that we cleared the volume and returning back to the run. Now ignore those 28.9 milliliters because I forgot to take one more picture with the cleared volume but I believe that you got a picture what it is. So this is the easy way to learn the pump. We encourage you to come to the lab and practice more. This is for the snowy day. The snowy